Hey, 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 my YouTube family. I'm Brittany, and you are on my channel, Romeo Roadmap. So I'm sitting in the car, and yes, I was eating. And I got the idea for today's topic, which I think that uh, is going to be really interesting for you guys. Now, for those of you who are new to this channel, we are a solution oriented channel. Someone gave me this nickname he said if it's not my favorite wing woman i thought that was so cute y'all think i'm your wing woman i love that oh i love that i am your online wing woman that is so cute to me so anyway i essentially am i'm helping guys i am giving you a female perspective but we're solution oriented we don't male bash we don't woman bash on this channel no we actually like the opposite sex we actually love love we want relationships we want to see marriages we want to see thriving healthy relationships and so uh we're looking for solutions on here and when i say solutions that might be meaning overcoming objections places to approach um habits that you might have maybe you're not uh, actually aesthetically or wardrobe right presenting yourself working on confidence these are the type of things that we discuss on this channel so I want to play you this video clip okay because I have found this cold approaching genius and I think you guys must see him in action I mean this guy don't miss he don't miss he makes cold approaching light He's not even this like six foot um, body built guy that you would think, you know, maybe is getting all these girls. No, he's this little, I don't know if he's Pakistanian and slim guy, it's just kind of plain, but he's witty, he's funny, he overcomes objections, he controls the narrative, and he is what? Confident. He is confident. He makes them laugh. You got to see this guy. We're going to see a few of them because this is like cold approach for dummies. This guy is a cold approach whiz. Y'all need to study some of the stuff that he's saying. He's good. I'm about to show y'all a few. We're going to see a few videos. Check this out. Let me know what you think about it. Just a sec. Whoa. Wait, are you guys twins or sisters by any chance? Twins, actually. What was that? Twins. Really? Yeah. Well, I think I, I just hit the jackpot with you tonight. I won. I think yeah. you did, because I'm a prize. Yeah, what's your name? Maya. Maya, nice to meet you. Nice Has to anyone you. ever told you you look like Megan Fox? All the time. Yeah, you do. But you're like way hotter than her, I think. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. Like, Megan Fox, she's out. You're in now. Maybe so. What are we going to do now? Are we going to get married and have children? I hope so. Alright, well, is it okay if I grab your number? Where are you from? From Florida? Yeah. Born and raised? <laughs> no. no. Ohio. <laughs> and what's your name? Hannah. Hannah, nice to meet you. Now, I like this video as my starter video because approaching groups or more than one woman is one of the things that you guys have expressed to me the most that intimidate you, and yet he did it. He was not rude. He has said hello to both. He talked to the one that he actually did want to talk to, and then he greeted the other one after he got the one that he was interested in's uh, number. Okay, like, <clears throat> that was quick concise he flattered them he you know he was confident and in this case it did seem like it went really smoothly but I want you to see some more videos that he has posted so you can see some more scenarios but that's a good start that is a good start I'm sorry the glare in my car the sun is coming out and being all weird I'm leaving from this like sports bar and grill but y'all gotta see the next one too because this guy is good we're gonna keep on following him because he's got a cute little approach watch some more hey excuse me hey, i have like a really big crush on you what'd you say you look really beautiful uh, thank you. i have a really big crush on you what's your name cassie, what's cassie? where are you from 
I'm from Chicago. What about you? San Diego, California. San Diego. Okay. Thanks. Is it cool if I grab your number though? Yeah, you can take my Instagram. I don't have Instagram. Oh, I'll okay. take your number. Okay. How long are you here for? I live here. You live in Miami? You live in San Diego? Mm, I live here, but I go back and forth. Okay. I stay here. Then when I get bored, I go back. Then when I get bored, I come back here. What part of Miami do you live in? No. Brickle? Yeah, me too. You like it? Okay. Nice to you. Can't wait to marry you. <laughs> okay, have a good day. Bye. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Now, what did he do right in this approach? I want you to drop it in your comments what you think he did right and then i'm gonna tell you okay what i think he did right and what i thought was smooth as hell was when she said i can give you my instagram he said i don't have it or i don't do it i'll take your number controlling the narrative but not in an, a overly masculine kind of way because he asked for a number she said what she'd give. He insist, but subtly, and was not nasty about it. Was not insulting her. Was saying, you know, I'm, I don't, I don't be on there, but I'll take your number though. And you know, she did a little giggle, and you know, he's flirting, he's complimenting her, making her laugh, but he doesn't just take the L and just go, oh, you know. Now, <clears throat> because I know some of you are in my comments are going to be like, yeah, but when you insist or whatever, women say you're being a creep. Okay. If you ever took a job in sales, salesmen have a saying where you expect 99 no's and one yes. There is no foolproof approach. There is no foolproof strategy that won't get you some no's. Even in with this guy. I've been watching his videos. Women are sometimes saying no, despite his game, despite his gender, but he, his gestures, but he holds his confidence here and he continues to control the narrative. He still keeps it at the tone that he wants. You guys gotta, gotta look at and look into him. This is a perfect example of overcoming rejections, approaching in person, I mean, approaching in person, because so many people say like online dating is trash. Um, and if you don't want to do that, then you need to get to where you know how to just talk to a woman in a real life scenario. You need to get to where you just know how to talk to them as the people that they all just are. You know, it's really not as deep as sometimes y'all make it like y'all really be your own worst enemies and getting in your own head. Look at how simple and how easy this guy makes it look because it is even when he gets rejected. He says things that are playful, like, you know, what are we, when are we getting, getting married? Or, you know, they might giggle. It makes the conversation lighthearted. But I really, really liked when he was like, oh, I'm not on Instagram, but I'll take your number. He said it the same, the same request again, but it was not forceful. It was not, oh, you a 304. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, Y'all don't recognize the good man or oh, Kevin Samuels can't make this shit up. He never said any of those defensive things and he's never went to see this is why I don't approach women. This is why I don't try. He never turned negative. He just subtly insisted. Stay cool and confident even on the times where it does not work at all. Because in the videos if you've watched him at all. Um, there are times where, you know, the approach, no matter how funny, how witty it is, he's, his little banter is, sometimes it just doesn't work because nothing is ever foolproof. But he steadies the course, stays the course, he stays calm, he stays himself, stays cool, calm and collected. Y'all really need to pull from some of this these lines. Pull from some, we're gonna watch another one. Let's watch another one. <laughs> Hey, excuse me? Hi. Is it an important phone call? Yeah. Okay, you are so beautiful. Thank you. That's so sweet. Uh, and today's Valentine's Day. I want you to be my Valentine. If that's okay. all right with you. Okay, sure. What's your name? Shannon. Shannon, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you. Such a beautiful eyes. Thank wow. you. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your phone number. Okay. And then uh, we got to get married. Thanks. Like, maybe not right now, Minimal but... Minimal commitment. Yeah. 
Is that is that your mom, friend? It's my mom. Oh, tell your mom that you have a new boyfriend now. Okay, perfect. Can I say hi to her? Um, personally, she's gonna be a little confused. But yeah. In the future. Uh, you're beautiful. Thank you. Wait, wait. Thanks to me. Oh, I, for, I almost forgot. Oh no way! Yeah, that there just you go. made my whole day. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, What's no your way. name? I'm Saeed. Your name? Nice. Shannon. Shannon. Yes. SS. Okay, well, my number's in your phone. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're awesome. Uh, we actually shoot YouTube videos. Okay. And that's we're just nice showing guys that they don't have to be afraid to approach pretty girls in public. Oh, I was just talking and, to my mom about that. And today's bit is Valentine's Day, so we're handing out roses okay. to beautiful girls. Thank you so yeah, much. You're so beautiful. Have a and good you're day. You, made, you just made my day. <laughs> you're cool yeah. being in the video? Yeah. All right. Yeah, have a good day. He don't miss. That was so smooth. You're beautiful. Is that a phone call with your mom? Can I speak to her? Let her know you have a new boyfriend. I mean, you are, are just so beautiful. I mean, comp walked up to her, not a yo baby, not a yo ma. Uh, hey, look, what's up, little shouty? No, I just, you are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. And don't be out here worried about, oh, another man that think that that's simping or thinking that, um, that that's being corny or begging and pleading and, or anything because you know what if you're out here worried about the opinion of other men and you're out here trying to uh impress other men i side eye what you are, are um attracted to or interested in because you're supposed to be going based on what the women find attractive what the women are going to find appealing you, are you trying to attract men men or women we find that attractive what he just did we find that attractive. But if you're going to be worried about other men thinking, oh, that's corny, that's simping or whatever, who, who are you more interested in appealing to, them or us? Okay? Because he'll tell you it's corny, discourage you from doing it, and then when your head is turned, he'll do that shit to try to get the girl. Don't be dumb, be woke. Okay? But I love... This approach, this was smooth, this was so thought out. And then it was Valentine's Day, okay? That is a perfect, that's a perfect example, perfect time. And you don't have to wait till Valentine's Day, but since it was Valentine's Day, we're gonna go with that for an example. It was Valentine's Day. She's sitting there by herself, no man. Why not have a rose or two in your bag for the single women that you come across? Because if she had a man, She'd probably be with him on that day. That is one of that's one day that is a clear indicator that she's by herself. Okay, so are like single mixers too. But but I digress. We'll get into that another time. But at Valentine's Day, he has a spare rose that was intentional in his bag. He talks to her. She gives his number, puts a rose on her, and like he says, we just want to tell guys how to approach women did you hear her also say oh my god me and my mom were just talking about that and to the men who get the angry little men uh who get in my comments and be like well blame women blame feminists for uh uh men not approaching anymore that is a very small group of women in comparison to the mass amount of women who still appreciate respectful tasteful cold approach okay so you're gonna let this small infinite pool set the tone for the masses okay and discourage you from approaching women if women still didn't want to be approached women would not dominate um speed dating if women did not want to be approached um, they probably wouldn't be sitting at those bars in her heels and her dresses by her damn self, okay? If women did not want to be approached, mm, you know what? When she's pulling up at the cigar lounge, sometimes maybe even the sports bars and all of that, she probably would not be in there. I don't care what no woman say. Those are not environments that we frequent and just want to hang out. No, like, yeah, maybe she is in there to eat or and just or whatever, but we also know there's on male dominant spaces. And if we didn't want to be approaching, we absolutely wanted to avoid you, we really would not be in those spaces. So I'm telling you that damn what you heard with the whole 
on anti-approach, yes, there are always going to be some. There can be two, two things can be true. Yes, there are women that are anti-cold approach. However, there are also women pro cold approach. Are you really going to let the anti-cold approach women discourage you from meeting the pro cold approach women? Really? Why would you do that? Why would you let the anti discourage you from trying to find the pro cold approach women? That's so dumb. Why? No. Get out there. Get out there. Do it anyway. This guy was perfect. This was so smooth. You got to check out some more video, guys. I was so, like, really happy. And I love that in this video, y'all got to see him. You see how he's a skinny little thing? He's skinny guy. I mean, he's not anything of what you guys compare with the six figures, six figures. Blah, 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 blah. No, no, he's pretty plain. And he's slim and had his glasses on. and But he's funny and he's flattering. So ixnay some of the whole image that you have to be again two things can be true are there women that have like yeah he gotta be six figures six feet and blah blah blah, blah. absolutely there are but there are also women that say oh you know hell i'm five four he didn't have to be that i would like him to be a little taller than me and you know i'm more so worried about how i'm treated and i do want to be attractive but he ain't gotta be denzel and blah blah blah, blah. so are you going to allow again the ones that say, oh, you know, you have to be this, the six, six, six figure, six feet to discourage you for going for the girl that says, you know, I just want to be treated well. We get along. We go and enjoy each other. And no, you don't have to be six figures. You don't have to be six feet. And, you know, I would love for you to have aspirations for long term. However, I'm aware of the percentage of people that actually earn that. And so if you are striving for more and you're actually trying to get there uh, and you are actually sustaining and can take care of things and we can actually still go out and enjoy each other, then it doesn't have to be quite at six figures because maybe you're at 75. I don't know, but maybe you ain't got no kids and you doing it. Maybe you're at 65 and you're still working on get, getting more, but you don't have no children that you're actually doing. So that actually makes me means that money goes a lot further or maybe whatever the alternative is, but there's always going to be some that are saying uh, the, the yay and the naysayers, but what do you guys do? You fester on the ones that say, no, you have to have it. And you completely disregard the women that say that you don't, okay? I'll give you an example and then I'm gonna close it out with you guys. I know I'm moving my camera, I'm sorry. So, when I was doing my consultations, when I was doing my consultations, let me tell you something that I found uh, with some of my guys. We were working on their confidence, we were working on their presentation, we were working on cold approaching let me tell you in a story that one of my guys told me and i wonder if he's gonna watch it i'm not gonna say your name so don't get mad at me he said "Brittany, in one of our consultations i met i saw this woman i was at a store she was gorgeous she was gorgeous all of the men stopped and were looking at her some men was trying to talk to her like she was just eye-catching and like all the men there, it was obvious everybody wanted her. Boom, nothing wrong with that, pause. Nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with him being attracted to her, the eye catching, let's call her a goddamn 10. Let's call her that because apparently all of the men had necks broke when she entered, okay? So let's call her that. By my consultations with this man, by video chatting, by looking at his wardrobe, by us, con you know, having conversations about what tax bracket he in. That woman is not of his lane. She ain't. She has broken the neck of most men in here. And now you got men approaching her. And based on what I now know of you through our consultation, because you are confiding in me. That's not your lane. I asked him. Now, there's nothing wrong with what you're attracted to. Nothing at all. However, were there more women in the store? And he said, yeah. And if there were more women in there and they didn't break his neck the same, then maybe they were less attractive than her, but maybe it's not 
unattractive but less attractive than the 10 chick right follow me did you talk to them did you look to see if they had a ring did you look to see if they were there by themselves he paused and he said no this is a perfect example what some of y'all are out here doing is you go for a 10 and you don't you don't have the bait necessary to get her and then you are completely bypassing maybe it was several fives and sixes which i really hate that rating a woman thing because i think it's kind of degrading but you know for the sake of this conversation and because i know you guys actually do this little rating thing which really disgusts me i'm just gonna play along to make my point but anyway there may have been chicks there that was cute you did not talk to them you didn't approach them Maybe that was a little bit plainer. Maybe she, they were just okay. Maybe they would have been okay with your tax bracket. Maybe, you know, she's eccentric and she don't mind your eccentric uh, style too because this guy was kind of um, quirky. He had a quirky kind of look, you know? Maybe she's quirky too. And she don't mind that you're not GQ. She don't mind that you're not six feet. She don't mind that you're not six figures. You didn't approach her though. You sit here and came back to the consultation to tell me about the 10 that turned everybody's neck. You probably fat bypass four or five okay chicks that haven't had anybody say anything to them while she's in there shopping. Dululu is not the Salulu, okay? Know your lane. I know my pool. I know who I attract. I can walk into a room and know, for the most part, the men that are probably drawn to me. You need to learn what your lane is. That 10 that he was looking for, that, that chick that broke everybody's neck, he did not uh, meet the, the, the calls for that, okay? It, as he's fishing with the wrong bait, okay, and for, for, for trying to get her. The bait you have, the bait you currently possess, would have hooked one of those other girls in the store that you didn't say a GD thing to. Sometimes that's the problem. And then what you'll do is when you went for the, the girl that the 10, let's say the 10, and she didn't, you know, give you any play, then you get back on the internet and go, you know, these women don't recognize a good man and they don't want marriage and blah, blah, blah. blah. Well, those girls that was just okay, maybe they did. You just went for the one that had 15 men after her. <laughs> but you didn't go after the other chicks. You didn't say anything to them. I digress. Sometimes y'all are Delulu too. I know y'all say women Delulu for six figures, six feet. That's some Delulu-ish that he just did. Y'all are Delulu too. But no, I really wanted you guys to see this video with this guy. I think his cold approach game is A1. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought that was so cool of him. The way he, you know, spun that and the rose on hand and the girl really liked it. And I was like, this guy is good. This is a good example. So I will talk to you guys next time. Mwah.